Hello everyone, and welcome to the conclusion of Wolf Quest the Dauntless Pack, at least for this litter. Of course, we have Dante here, and also Spitfire, whose stats are apparently just as drastic as his. Did we... did we ever look at those? I don't know that we did. Uh, yeah, she also has minus stamina. I can guess we're probably not going to see a lot of that in the pups. But uh, whereas Dante has minus two speed, she actually has plus two and her minus two is two health. I guess that's kind of fitting for this pack. They are a pack of extremes. But uh, we are here to see the pups. We'll go ahead. We'll take a look at them in a minute. I just want to clarify one thing, though. You'll notice that at least at the time of my posting this, there's not an air pull to uh, go along with this pack just yet. That's because for the time being, we're not going to be uh, choosing an air for the Dauntless pack. At some point in the future, we might. You might come back to this later in the future and there might be a poll. And if so, standard protocol will probably apply. There will be the appropriate links in the video description, but just because of the way the series works with the challenge pack, we're not going to be giving Dante a direct air at this time. Who knows what the future will bring, but because this is kind of hinging on the multiplayer series as well, and this is just a side thing, that's kind of why that's happening. So we will still be looking at the pups as adults, but there's not going to be a vote for this, at least at the time this video is going up. With that out of the way, let's look at Athena. So Athena is our runt here. Uh, she definitely has the minus two stamina, <laughs> but actually neutral strength, plus one speed, or mi minus one speed, sorry, and minus one health, and minus two stamina. So pretty Pretty typical runt stats uh, with the minus two and minus ones. I believe runts end up with a total of minus four uh, as opposed to balanced. So yeah, uh, not too unexpected, but that's what she looked like as a puppy, as an older puppy. Also, all the pups did survive, fortunately, despite illness being quite a problem with this litter. We also have Cerberus, who has that darker gray coat here. He has one stam one strength and minus one stamina, neutral speed and health. Uh, he's also kind of got that white spot on his chest, doesn't he? That comes from Dante there. I wonder if he's going to have the same coat. We will see in a little bit here. We also have Atlas, who's a little bit lighter gray, one strength, minus one stamina. Again, about the same. Uh, we have Persephone as well. She's more brownish in color. One strength and minus one health. That kind of takes more after her mom there. And uh, also Achilles. One strength, minus two stamina, and one health. Oh, he actually has positive health. I guess that comes from Dante. Do they both... Wow, I'm surprised we haven't had more pups with a plus two strength. I guess maybe it's... Somehow the genetics have worked out so that we're not seeing a whole lot of that. Uh, but that is Achilles. And last but not least, we have Perseus, who is gray, has one strength, minus one stamina, neutral speed and health. So that's what these guys will look like as pups. We're going to go ahead and age them up and see what they look like as adults. All right, and starting us off here, we have Athena with the 778 and Blacktail Deer Plateau Pack coat. This is a genetic gray coat. It's one we've seen pop up in a few of our series. Uh, I think we saw some of this one in Ultra Iron Wolf. This may have been what Hope's coat was, actually, I, I believe. Uh, and she has these kind of brighter, yellowy eyes. They're not really that golden. They're more kind of almost greeny, actually. Uh, very, very pretty wolf. Let's go ahead and listen to her howls. Very deep howl there, and then for her secondary. Goodness, a much higher pitched one, so she has quite a lot of range. I don't notice any obvious customizations here. She might have a few subtle ones, possibly. All of these are looking pretty normal. Nope, I don't think she has any. All right. We did see her stats earlier, too, but again, typical runt stats with minus four points total. So a bit more challenging as than most wolves to play as, but uh, definitely not impossible, considering that we did our whole Ultra Iron Wolf run. And, of course, she was the 2F member of the Dauntless Pack, the offspring of Dante and Spitfire. So that's Athena. Next up we have... 
Cerberus. And oh, he doesn't quite have the same coat as Dante, but it does have that white spot on it. This is the third mother coat, 1276F from Beauty's Black, so the second DLC. It's a very pretty one for sure. Oh, and I think I see a hint of Crooked Tail looking at him here. He also has those kind of greeny gold eyes. This is a black coat, by the way, uh, but they're very greeny, yellowy eyes. Uh, they really stand out again against his fur here as the light eyes against the darker coat tend to. Let's go ahead and listen to his howls as well. That's a pretty deep one. It looks like he got eight on both of them. Wow, once again, quite a difference. So a lot of these pups seem quite a bit of a vocal range. I don't see any obvious ear customizations. Nope, it looks like not. But as for his customizations here, I think, yes, indeed, he does have that crooked tail. There we go. We can get a good view of him from the back. So something must have happened. <laughs> um, perhaps he was, I think, one of our more adventurous pups. I don't believe he was also one of the only ones to not get sick. So that would which was the anomaly in this litter, all things considered. Uh, we had four of the six pups end up falling ill, but fortunately, all of them also ended up surviving. Here's a quick look at his stats again as well. Pretty neutral ones, just a little bit of variation. And of course, he is the offspring of Dante and Spitfire, the two a member of the Dauntless pack. So that is Cerberus. Next up we have... Atlas, and Atlas has one of the ambassador coats, actually the Grizzer coat here, a genetic gray one. Very, very pretty, very pale colored as well. We don't often see a lot of gray coats that are this light in coloration. Huh. Yeah, it's kind of neat to see this one pop up again. And of course, for his eye color here, he actually has kind of the opposite darker colored eyes and a lighter coat. These are more golden brown, kind of bronzy colored. Very pretty still. We'll go ahead, we'll listen to his howls too. Deeper Howl. It's actually the same primary as Cerberus has. And then for a secondary... Wow, in keeping with the trend, once again, a great deal of vocal range. As for his customizations here, he might have a crooked tail as well. I'm not seeing any ear customizations, but we can look through here. Not seeing anything here. Nope, he actually has a straight tail. Okay, then. Yeah, it looks like he didn't get any customizations that I'm noticing. I don't see any of the checked ones either. As for his stats, we saw those already, but once again, he didn't have a whole lot of variation, despite the fact that both of his parents do. A lot of these pups actually got very, uh, very simple stats, very, very neutral ones. And of course, he is the offspring of Dante and Spitfire, the 3M member of the Dauntless pack. That is Atlas. Next up we have... Persephone, who has the middle gray coat from the Lamar Canyon pack. Uh, this is a genetic gray coat. It's again a brown one. So yeah, very, very pretty one. Both of the both of the girls actually had like uh, brown coats, didn't they? Yep, because this is Athena. So yeah, that's very interesting because I think all of the boys that we've seen so far at least have been on the gray spectrum. Interesting. Well, in any case here, uh, that is her coat color. We can look at her eyes too. She has much more of the green range, it looks like. Uh, I think these are the greenest eyes that we've seen so far, but they're quite pretty. They stand out well against her fur. We'll go ahead and listen to her howls as well. That's that classic deeper primary. And then for her secondary... Once again, sticking with the family trend of having a much higher pitched secondary howl. Goodness, are we going to see that for all of the pups? It seems like we might. As for customizations, I haven't noticed anything obvious. We'll keep looking and see, but I don't think so. It doesn't look like there's any of these unless she got the crooked tail. Oh, she did. Oh, she got it curved inward. Interesting. That's not the easiest to see from a forward angle, but okay, okay. We tend to see that one pop up not infrequently, it would seem. As for her stats here, she has that plus one strength and minus one health. So again, fairly neutral stats overall. And of course, she is the offspring of Dante and Spitfire, the 3F member of the Dauntless Pack. 
So that's Persephone. Next up we have Achilles. And oh my goodness, I think those are the darkest eyes I've ever seen on a wolf. He actually has an NPC coat too. You can see that it's not selected here. I can't remember which one this modifies, but it's that one that has a really interesting chocolatey kind of colored snout. It very much matches his eye color. It is a black coat too. So yeah, this is... Wow. <laughs> he certainly has quite the dark colored eyes. I'm kind of in awe of that. I, I don't know that I've usually seen them get this dark. It's very, very pretty and it matches the little stripe he's got going on in his snout. Let's go ahead and listen to his howls as well. Again, that deeper primary and for secondary. Oh, he actually breaks the trend with two very similar sounding howls. I think he's the only one so far who's done that. I don't see any obvious customizations either. Not any ear ones, at least. These all look very normal. Nope, no, no crooked tail either. As for his stats, he's got plus one strength, minus two stamina, and plus one health. So one of the more varied stat spreads that we've seen so far. Achilles also had a bit of a time of it. He got pretty sick, and not only that, but he also got attacked by a bear. Thankfully, we were able to fend it off, but uh, he had a time of things. He truly did. Of course, too, he's the offspring of Dante and Spitfire, and the 4M member of the Dauntless Pack. So that is Achilles. Last but not least, we have... Perseus, who has, this is a genetic gray coat, it's a bit of a deceptive one, and it's also one of the scar coats, so I want to say this is 925M from Lamar Canyon, I think, possibly, it's one of the ones that always trips me up, but it's the Life as Rough, is Life is Rough variant there, you can see it by that scar by his eye, he's also got some very green eyes, I think these might be even greener, well, okay then, wow, very, very pretty for sure. It's just interesting to see the range. We'll go ahead and listen to his howls as well. He's quite a striking lad. Oh, he too breaks the trend. He's got a much higher pitched primary howl than for a secondary. Oh, still that drastic range, but it's inverted to the deeper howl being on his secondary. That's interesting. I'm not noticing customizations, not obviously at least, but he still could have some, especially that sneaky crooked tail likes to hide. Nope, doesn't seem so though. His scar is the only uh, customization he's got, and that's just a coat one. As for his stats here, you can see him again at plus one strength, minus one stamina, fairly neutral overall. And of course, he's the offspring of Dante and Spitfire, the 5M member of the Dauntless Pack. And I think he was one of the only pups to not get sick. I don't think he ever did. I think he was one of the two. So he was a pretty lucky pupper. <laughs> now all these pups are a pretty... Pretty, pretty chaotic bunch. They tended to get into trouble. I seem to recall Perseus didn't like to go in the, uh, the den during the den attacks, too. So he's a pretty lucky survivor, but maybe that's how he picked up one of those scars. Uh, but yeah, for Dante being their parent, their father... The, the, the pups were quite a rambunctious and rowdy bunch. They definitely kept him on his toes, that's for sure. But that's Litter One of the Dauntless Pack. Again, I don't know if there's going to be an air pull. If you're watching this down the line, there might be. If you're watching this when it comes out, probably not, because right now I don't necessarily have plans to continue with an air because we don't really know what's going to happen with the challenge pack anyway. So we'll see what the future holds for Dante and his pack. But I hope you've enjoyed this look at the pups. Nonetheless, even if we're not voting on which one to carry on a legacy like we normally do, because uh, it's always interesting to see what they grow up to be. And with that, I think we're going to go ahead and leave this off here for today because it is getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.